result. Hello, happy morning, everyone. Morning. Happy morning. Yes, online. Happy morning. Happy morning. Oh, I only can hear Postmaster Leonie. Where is others? Happy morning. Happy morning. Happy morning. <laughs> oh, we have Postmaster Agung from Bali. Is that you, right? Yes, I'm here. All oh. the way from Bali. Fly away from Bali to Jakarta to attend our session. Thank you very much. Okay, so to open this meeting, uh, there, as uh, usual, we have several house rules. And the house rule we can see in the slides. So for those master and distinguished guests attending online, please rename yourself with your role and your name. If you are visiting Toastmasters, you can rename your handle name with visiting Toastmaster, your name, and uh, your club. And then for distinguished guests, you may rename yourself with the G uh, dash your name. And if you could, turn on your camera because this will be recorded. And it will be archived in our YouTube channel, SUBD Toastmasters Club. Keep your microphone on mute while, uh, while others are talking. Unmute your mi microphone when it's your turn to speak. And be fully present. And it is the most important one. Have fun. Okay, let's start. So to start this session, we have Toastmaster Donna from Batam. Fly away from Batam here, representing SUBD Toastmaster Presidents. She is Vice President of Education now, while our President have some occasion abroad, so he sadly he couldn't come to the States. So please welcome Toastmaster Donna. Happy morning, everyone, and apologies to um, all speakers and panelists that I couldn't be there in person today. My name is Donna, and I am the Vice President of Education at SVD Toastmasters Club. We are here to celebrate the National Day of Education, and thank you for joining us this wonderful, of a slightly gray day where we go and um, come together to honor learning and the contribution of educators. Education is the cornerstone of progress and it stands as the base of self-improvement, which is why we're here in Toastmasters to learn to become the better selves that we can be today. Through this, I'd like to, i like for all of us to say thank you to all our teachers and mentors all this time, both in Toastmasters and in all our lives, who gave us knowledge and values passionately guiding us to become leaders and innovators. So I'd like to introduce a little bit about Toastmasters Club, SCVD Toastmasters Club um, especially. Yes, could we start over there, please? We have a very, um, dare I say, cute um, slogan here, appreciative, warm, energetic, and experienced. That is the motto of SCB Toastmasters Club today. We were established in April 6, 2005. Next, please. Okay. And in SCB Toastmasters Club, we strive for guidance in achieving education progress, a member centric mentoring program, and a warm club environment. And next, please. Is it open for public? Indeed it is. So what's in it for us? Here in Toastmasters, you can learn how to become a better public speaker in any language you choose. In Indonesia, especially in Jakarta, we have an Indonesian club, we have a Mandarin club, we have especially English clubs where you can learn to become better English speakers. Next, please. Here you can also learn how to do table topics where you can become a more confident organized and engaging speaker with better 
and more concise delivery. Okay, and within Toastmasters, we have a great club experience where we get feedback and evaluation from our peers. We have opportunities for leadership, an interactive learning environment, mentors, and getting club meeting roles, as well as learning how to prepare prepared and impromptu speeches. Within Toastmasters, we have six different pathways, especially coming in the second semester of this year, dynamic leadership, engaging humor, motivational strategies, persuasive influence, presentation mastery, and visionary communications. All of these you can choose in the Basecamp system where you're going to get a module and you're going to learn how to deliver speeches depending on these um, paths or themes that you choose. And here in Toastmasters, we have our listed mentors and mentees official. Toastmaster Alfin, Toastmaster Indica, Toastmaster Garda, and I, and Toastmaster Adrian as well, are all mentors. And also Toastmaster Leonie out here joining us from Bekasi. And we are very happy to pair you up with the mentor that you need according to the challenges that you have. Next, please. And I'd like to also congratulate our beloved club SUD Toastmasters for achieving all the 10 education goals from the um, President's Club points. So we have 20 members as of today and we've reached levels 1 to 5 and some of us have also finished our paths. And we're also going to celebrate that later on, two weeks from now, in Kotakina Balu for the district conference. OK, next, please. So join us every Friday starting from 6.55 PM. That is our regular schedule. This is generally our Ramadan schedule that we also use for offline events. We meet on the first and fourth weeks in person at the Ministry of Education in the first floor, uh, Jalan General Sudirman. And we also meet online on the second and third weeks of the month. So thank you very much, everyone. We hope, oh, do we have announcements? I don't think we do. So thank you very much, everyone. We hope that you will have a great and inspirational time today. I will hand the control back to our Toastmaster of the meeting and man of the floor for today, Toastmaster Adrian. Time is yours. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you for the speech, Toastmaster Dona. And in this occasion, I would like to thank Professor Dr. Wardiman. Thank you for coming. This thing is Toastmaster Budi. Also, thank you for coming. And this thing is Toastmaster Atma. Thank you for being here and being our panelists for today. And also our moderator. We have several sessions for today. The first one would be the panel station. So here we are. We could hear from the experts about their journey in Toastmaster and nurturing education until today. And we will hear it soon. And also the second session, we will have the prepared speech. We have two prepared speakers for today. And also the third session, we will have the exciting table topic and please come on stage if you are willing to uh, to try the impromptu speech to how to improve your uh, whenever that question that comes to you you can respond it in a structured way and have a message in it so and then the fourth session as it is in the heart of our Toastmaster, we will have evaluation session. So we will learn together about the prepared speakers and the evaluation. And that's all for uh, today. And today I, I won't be alone. There are several teams with me. There are timers and ballot counter. So I would like to welcome our timer, Toastmaster. <laughs> Thank you. 
so much for our constructive today. Um, good morning, everyone. Happy morning. Happy morning. Happy morning. Happy morning. Happy morning. So my name is Farah, and today I will be the timer of today's event. I will type every prepared speeches, table topic speakers, also the evaluations. I will also show uh, the speakers of the time uh, they have left um, using this uh, colored paper. So if I show you the green one, that means you still have around two minutes to finish your speech. And if I show you the second, uh, the yellow one, uh, that means you still have a one around one minute to finish your speech. And then if I show you the red one, that means you still have 30 seconds to wrap up your speech. And every speaker needs to finish their speech within the time allocation to be uh, to be eligible to be voted on later. Okay. And um, I think that's all uh, from me to timer. Thank you so much. Back to you, Toastmaster of the meeting. Thank you. So there are another role that would be ballot counter that will be led by Toastmaster Agung. Toastmaster Agung, would you mind to introduce your role? Thank you, Toastmaster Adrian. Happy morning, everyone. Happy morning. My fellow Toastmasters and highly respected guests, I am Anggung. I'll be your ballot counter for today's event. So basically what I will do is after we hear the result or the report from the timer with the, from Toastmaster uh, Farah, and uh, then I will create a link for you to vote because I am using the online voting system right now and I'll be so it is for you to choose whether the speaker will be eligible as also uh, to choose your most favorite speaker for today so I'll create the link I'm using the easy post and I'll share the link into your chat box that's for online people but your for you on site people I will show the barcode into the screen so you have the right so you can use your right to choose your best speaker for of course for three session which is prepared speech speech prepared speech speaker and then table topic speaker as well as the evaluation speaker excluding the panel session because absolutely they are the best already so i at the end of this meeting i will come again and uh, and show the result of the of your votes Thank you. Uh, back to you, Toastmaster Adrian. Okay, that's all of the role takers for today. And let's start for the, our first session. Before that, I would like to introduce Toastmaster Melissa Chen. She is a member of Jakarta Toastmasters Club, GTC, since 2019. Working in a securities company in Jakarta, in her spare time, she loves to read books. Oh, it relates so much with our education today. She loves to reading books, listening to music, and her motto is to be a better self every day. Wow, it so resonates with the theme for today because this way, in this session, we will learn a lot and we will be better after this. So help me welcome Toastmaster Melissa Chen. Thank you Toastmaster Adrian for the awesome introduction. So good morning, happy morning ladies and gentlemen. Today I will be serving as your moderator since our Toastmasters of the meeting already introduced me. So I will skip my own introduction so let's move to the core of the session, which is about National Day of Education. It's actually celebrated at the 2nd of May, which is on the last Thursday. It is initiated by Ki Hajar Dewantoro. So thank you so much for SCPD Toastmasters inviting me to moderate because actually for me, it helped me to commemorate 
about the importance of the education, especially in Indonesia. In this session, we will highlight the topic about how Toastmasters enhances transformation through education. To help us more dig deeper into the, into the topic, we already have three panelists, which is for the in education and also the member of Toastmasters Club. Before I invite them to join me on the stage, I will give the brief introduction of each panelist. Our first panelist, Bachelor of Science, Sarjana Hukum, Magister Ilmu Hukum, Certified Legal Auditor, Distinguished Toastmasters, Budi Harjo Hadi Suryo. He joined Guna Electro Toastmasters Club in 1997, organizing Shanghai Toastmasters Club in 1999, chartered President Motivators Club, Toast, Motivators Toastmasters Club in 2000, serving as an area I1 government during 20, 2000 until 2001 and also became a sponsor and mentor of Lemhanas RE Toastmasters Club. So without further ado, let us welcome Pak Budi Harjo Hadi Suryo. Yes, on the next slide. And our second panelist, Pak Wardiman Joyanegoro, Professor, Doctor, Insignior, Distinguished Toastmasters. He is a former Minister of Education and Culture during period 1993 until 1998. He has become a member of Jakarta Motivators Club since 2000 and has achieved six times Distinguished Toastmaster. <laughs> he believes in the mission of Toastmasters of developing personal development through education and leadership training. He was an honorary member of Motivators Toastmasters Club in 2000 and an honorary mentor of Lemhanas RE Toastmasters Club. So, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Pak Wardiman. And our last but not least panelist, which is distinguished Toastmasters Atma Devita. She is a program officer in the UK mission to ASEAN. Currently working on the four of the mission regional programs across ASEAN. She has joined Toastmasters since 2011 in the UI or Universal Indonesia Toastmasters Club and served many roles as area B2 director, division B director and club news source research chair. She has passion for learning new cultures, foreign languages, and also loves spending time doing outdoor activities. So without further ado, let's welcome Toastmasters Atma Dewi. Thank you, Bapak dan Ibu, for joining us. Yes, yes. <coughs> Thank you, our panelists, for joining us today, for sharing about your experience and knowledge about Toastmasters and also about education. So the, the order of the session will be, I asked each 
question for each panelist, different questions, and you can elaborate or sharing with us. And after that, for the audience of line and online, you can ask your question in the Q and A session after our sharing session. Okay. So let's start with our first session. The first question is for distinguished Toastmasters Budi. Tell us how you wanted to start a Toastmasters club. Thank you. Toastmasters Melissa. I started to join Toastmasters in 1997 to improve my communication and leadership skill. And Toastmasters is the right place to improve your speaking and leadership because one, we have so many manuals, from basic manuals, ice breaking, until the highest manual. We have the standard, like CTM, Competent Toastmasters, Advanced Toastmasters, CTM. It's a good learning and a good uh, training for leadership. And one more, one more thing, the most important, it's, it's a place to learn when we make mis mistakes, we will correct it here to train ourselves when we are in the, in the business forum. So we can use our skill here, our knowledge in the business. Thank you. So I actually, I also joined the Postmeister to improve my public speaking skills. One of uh, interesting thing for me that you mentioned before that the skills learned from Toastmasters helps, helps, helps a lot in the business. Can you elaborate more about what aspects or? Yeah. First, the first pitch for all of you member is ice breaking. So when we meet strangers, we must break the ice. That's very important. Yeah. Second, the second uh, manual is speaking with sincerity. So when we talk, we have to be sincere. And that will make the bonding time with our friends or our or the stranger we meet. And then the third one, they are positioned in Toastmasters Club. Position in the Expo, President, Dr. Yeah. and all the rest. VP Education, VP, Membership. membership. Yeah. So it's a very good training for anybody who joined Toastmasters Club. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So it helps a lot in doing pitching. So in meeting new friends, we can be more flexible because we get used to in Toastmasters. And also it helps us to improve our organization skills because in business, we never can do alone, like we do the organization. Okay, awesome. Thank you for sharing. So move to the next question for Pak Wardiman. What inspired you to join Toastmaster Club? Thank you, Toastmaster Meli. Melissa. 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 Thank you. So the question is not actually why inspired me. Why did you join Toastmaster? That's the question because we didn't know, or Toastmasters were very uh, un, uh, not known at the time, 2000. And I'm every morning, I fit this together with Woody. Yeah. So he told me, Pop, when we have time, join our club. Huh? What is speaking? Wow, I'm afraid of speaking. But he, yeah, he persuaded me to come. At the time, it was Jakarta Toastmasters Club. So I just participate and sit there and study what is this Toastmaster. Mm -hmm. When you come into Toastmaster, then you said, well, you improve yourself through education, through enhancing your skills. First of all, communication skills. 
And second is the public eating and the third leadership skills. So in the first six months, I did nothing but just observing the way a club 100 years ago, established in America, become a world club, albeit not a big club. Yeah? Those concepts are not. I think the, the members are, are around 2 million, yeah? 2 million, 2.5 million. Yeah? So that's not a big club. But what interested me is how they try to improve the members' skills by certain processes. Okay. They call it the education process. Yes. Then one day, my friends, Babu Yipa, don't just sit still, they just talk. Yes, but talking in public is not easy. Yet. This is what those pastor is for. So that's why I begin to talk. Actually, not that. But Budi came to me, but I want to establish a new club, so the motivators club. Will you be the uh, honorary member? Oh, as long as I'm there, one bit, okay. I, <laughs> I don't have to be active. No, no, you have to be active too. So we established the those part, motivator club in June 2000. In June 2000. With Wow, it's a big seminar. Yeah, I think 200 people attended and hired. But then the real problem came because how to translate your nice program from education, yeah, public speaking, organizing into a leadership uh, process. And that and we are all amateurs. We are all begin yeah, to have a new club and we all have to translate all the, the manuals. So we have our problems. See? But after a while, I think that this club is good. It's good in uh, persuading people to improve themselves. Yeah. And that is not easy. Because in the manual it said improving yourself so you can advance in real life. And at, at that time, 2000, we don't know that with public speaking you can improve the chances. Yeah. Yeah. That with communication you can improve your way of speaking, your way of persuading people to accept. The, the progress of yourself. And the third is the leadership. It's difficult to understand that. But in Toastmaster, you have to accept or to do during the meetings to be a timer yeah, or a grammarian and so on. And it's part of the leadership, part to organize for every two weeks or every week. Yeah, to organize a meeting that that is useful, that has benefit for the people. So after a while, not, not directly, I begin to accept the process, the program of Toastmasters. Thank you. Thank you for sharing the time. We don't be afraid. Just move first. There's always baby step in everything, right? And then public speaking and leadership. Thank you. So we move to the next question. This question is for yeah, for distinguished Toastmaster Atma and distinguished Toastmaster Budi. What were your challenges when you chartered a corporate club? Uh, thank you very much. Um, I think uh, from these two more uh, expert speakers, 
compared to me. I think we definitely learned that, you know, uh, in those masters, we are learning uh, not only through developing ourselves, because once you already get into the education system uh, and you already understand uh, how those master works, um, you are also encouraged to develop yourself through developing others. I think in the introduction, you already see that within this club, SCBD those masters club, they have mentors. So these mentors mentor new member. And once you go out of slightly out of your club, you are also encouraged to mentor and sponsor other clubs as well. Um, so that's part of the journey as a, as a Toastmasters member. So you are learning not only to mentor other members, but also mentor new clubs. Um, and it was my first experience chartering a new corporate club. At that time, it was called BMICG. So it was a corporate club consisting of people who works in media. Um, so they are kind of like very friendly, very active, youthful people. Um, and I think one of the challenges, especially in chartering the corporate club, is as a mentor, you're coming from the outside. So you need to learn a little bit how to communicate and adjust your communication style with the people there um, in order for them to listen. Uh, and the second is I need to adjust um, to their rhythm as well, uh, because even though they are corporate clubs, but the vibes of the club is not really serious. Um, so it took time and also um, a little bit of patience uh, for me to be able to make them understand that as an, we, as an organization, Toastmasters have the structure. Uh, Toastmasters have the education system and why do they need to do the speeches? Because uh, you improve public speaking through doing the speeches and also make them understand how they can definitely apply this into their work so that they have motivation to do the speech. So uh, I think one of uh, the, the challenges is actually for new people who don't have experience, who come there and you come into this organization introducing those masters, it was quite a challenge. Uh, and I think in building that club, of course, uh, it requires commitment and also patience. Uh, and also, I think, um, make people understand how that, you know, what is the benefit of those masters, uh, that, you know, it can help them in their life and also it can help them in their work. I think uh, that's the key challenge in building new club. Budi probably would like to add. Yeah. There are many challenges uh, to start a corporate club. But I experienced myself to start Institute Club, Lemanas RE Postmasters Club. It's not easy, many challenges. Uh, first, about the members. Second, about the venue. Third, the approval from the governor of Lemanas. Yeah. But I am lucky, I overcome all the challenges. When I talked to Governor Lemanas at the time, Professor Ermaya Suradinata, I mentioned about Toastmasters Club. He will come. He will come to charter a new club in Lemanas. And for our first meeting, I remember he gathered 80 active generals in a big room. And before that, he asked me, who will be our mentor? So I mentioned Professor Wardiman will be the mentor and other senior Toastmasters like DTM Maimuna, DTM Allen from US and others. And in no time, we chartered the club. So there are many challenges, but if we persistent and do it wholeheartedly, it will happen. The second one, my experience is starting the initiative of DPR RE Toastmasters Club. At the time in year 2000, I went to Pak Akbar Tanjung's house and proposed to him. He responded immediately, yes. And he asked me to contact Ibu Nina Tanjung, uh, his wife. So in no time, we started the DPR at the Toastmasters Club and still Power Riman is the honorary mentor. And Power Riman is the first 
Honorary Member of Toastmasters International in Indonesia. The second honorary member is Professor Dr. Ermaya Surednata of Lemanas. I think there are many challenges, but if you are persistent, you want to spend time, and the key word is sacrifice. Sacrifice our time, sacrifice our effort to make it happen. Thank you. Thank you. No challenges are member, places, approval, and also adjusting to a new culture, new places, new community. And as long as we don't give up, we give persistence, sacrifices, yeah. by the time our dreams will come true. Thank you for sharing. We can move to the next question. For distinguished Toastmaster Budi, do you think Toastmasters has enhanced public speaking, leadership, and English speaking in Indonesia? And how? It has a lot. I am surprised. After 20 years absent in Toastmasters, I was surprised. Last two weeks, TM Wardiman and I were invited at Jakarta Motivated Toastmasters. It's a big surprise to me. The young people who join the club, they speak English very fluently. And they, are, they have a self-confidence, good self-confidence. I named the name, one of them is Nuril. And she will, she will, uh, she will join the contest, I heard. Yeah. And the other thing is today's. I will say uh, today's members is very different from 20 years ago. In 20 years ago, they have a little difficulty in speaking English. And some members, when they come up here, they have a sweat, or <laughs> the cold sweat. But today is very different. And Professor Wardiman bring the new era of Toastmasters. Because once he joined Toastmasters Club, open, he opened many, many Toastmasters Club, like Federal Express Toastmasters Club, City Hall, Balai Kota, in Governor's Office, uh, Kantor Pajak, at Gatos Broto, and many, many others. And Professor Wardiman, beside become the the mentor for many clubs, he always help. He always help any member who asks for guidance. So, Postmasters really works in Indonesia. Thank you. Well, communicate with a lot of people with different backgrounds, so we get used to, so it can be applied in our business, our daily life, and so on. For distinguished um, Master Atma, can you share one of the most interesting experience about how you overcome the challenges of starting the corporate club? How you overcome, and probably you can share the, the story. Okay. Um. So challenges in chartering corporate club. Yeah. So I think there are lots of challenges. I think uh, Pak Budi also already mentioned that you sometimes you need to speak with people uh, in order to introduce a Toastmasters club in, uh, in in a new company, especially. Uh, sometimes you have to speak with, you know, the managers, with the director, you need to see lots of people and convince them that this is works. So that's what uh, the init we initially do at that time. So we got this interest uh, from the mm, director at that time in BMICG. So uh, several people at that time, I was division director. Um, I come to them, introduce them what is the benefit of Toastmasters, what the Toastmasters can done to their company, what they need to provide. So, and we need to establish one demo meeting as well. Yeah, so that's a standard procedure. So the, in the demo meeting, we invite speakers from those masters come to their company and also run the meeting there uh, in order for all the people who attend the demo meeting to see. Um, so demo meeting is quite challenging because you have to make it look good. You have to make it look interesting so that you can convince people that this works. 
Uh, so that's the procedures that we do. Uh, and also, uh, what are the challenges? Uh, so lots of preparation, of course. Um, we need to contact speakers, make sure the speakers is good and also the evaluators also good and understand those masters flow uh, making sure the meeting is quite structured so that's a first meeting that we want to show to this company how those master works uh, so lots of discussion and negotiation um, the second is also preparation especially in preparing the demo meeting and of course communication um, we cannot allow that this company forgets uh, that we already introduced those masters to them. Uh, so we also need to follow up closely and also invite the team. Sometimes we also invite initially sponsors. So that's where the sponsor has quite an important role to make sure that the club is chartered, to make sure that the company understand how um, those masters club is chartered and it is processed and making sure that it is established and it has the very, very first uh, chartered member within this club. So that's where, you know, finding the right sponsors and also the right mentors for the club is quite essential. Uh, that's also a challenge. And I think we are forever grateful uh, to have like a figures, just like Pak Wardiman and also Pak Budi, who keeps, you know, helping the organization uh, for years and years. Uh, they also become like honorary members and also chartered members in several important clubs that are still, I think, exist until today, just like Jakarta Motivators. Uh, so yeah, I think the key is to find right people uh, and also organize everything uh, and also preparation and lots of negotiation and follow-up. Thank you so much about the presentation. Persistence. Next question is for distinguished postmasters Wardingman. Do you have a message for people who are starting public speaking, leadership, and English learning journey? Do you have a message for people who are starting public speaking leadership in English? Yes, uh, as I said, or how Pak Budi and Atma, Toastmaster Atma, uh, Toastmaster is a good club. But I was surprised, and I'm surprised, that in Indonesia it doesn't grow so well. There are many challenges. Uh, we cannot discuss it here. But according to me, one of the challenges is that not many people know what Toastmaster is. And how do you do that? Well, they are all volunteers. How could you? You cannot advertise that you don't have money. So that is the first challenge. How could many people, many young people, benefit from the program of Toastmasters. When I look at the statistic of clubs in Indonesia, it just stays a little, it, doesn't, it, it rises in the first of the, of the decade, from 2000, 2010, it rises. We have more than 50 clubs in Jakarta. Now it's around six clubs, so it's average. And according to me, it should be more. But we should discuss it with fellow Toastmasters how to raise the, the, yeah, the famous, to be famous Toastmasters and everybody will, will participate. One of the, uh, the, the told people, those passes to be expensive, ten dollars per month. Yeah, hundred eighty hundred eight thousand per month. Yeah. For students, it's difficult. Yeah, must ask those passes at money. But at the other hand, when you go to a course, yeah, for public speaking, you pay millions, one million or two million. You see, semester, yeah, more expensive than. $10. But how to convince our students to do that? There are many positive things coming now, like Pabudi said, yeah, when the first time we established our Toastmasters, everybody doesn't speak English as well as right now in the So, the 
we have to confess our flesh to hey, you speak tomorrow, you speak tomorrow. But as Buddha said, their hair was already wet with sweat. <laughs> but the situation is difficult. Many, many students speak English so fluently. So actually, then there is chance for the those pastor to grow. Yeah. And that should be discussed for the for the benefit actually is more than the challenges. As, as long as we can work together to overcome this. Thank you. about cooperation. Don't be afraid to start. Don't be afraid to, to try. Yeah. So we can uh, enjoy our journey in, in leadership and public speaking. Next question is for Distinguished Toastmaster Kudi. You have witnessed changes to the pathways. If you had a chance, which aspects of any of the legacy curriculum would you like to reintroduce and why? Do you mean business or Toastmasters? Toastmasters. Or curriculum? Yes. Right like, now well, we already use pathway compared yeah. to the old version. Or which aspects do you want to introduce? to the current generation and why? Yeah, I see that the current manual and the manual about 20 years ago, they are both good. Yeah, they are good and applicable in the real world. For instance, there's one manual about debating, how to win a debate. And then another manual, it's about Persuasion, how to persuade in doing business. So I can tell that no matter they change the manual or adjust, is to the goodness of those masters members. And one more thing I mentioned about in Lamhanas, I was wonder why uh, so many generals at the time they cannot. They could not speak English, but they come to the club, to the meeting. Later on, I find out, like Professor Ermaya, Governor Hermanas, I find out that he traveled a lot to Hawaii, England, and many other countries, and he must give a speech. So he practiced his speech in Lemhanas era Ethos Master's Club. The other one, a three-star general, Air Force, Toto Rianto. Later, he became the Indonesian ambassador in Brazil. And I know why they want to join those masters to practice a speech in English. So I think the, the curriculum are all very good, excellent. The improvement make it better. Thank you. Thank you. Last question for meeting with those masters for demand. Is there one or a few members or friends whose progress you really rem remember? Maybe you can share with us a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, when we begin Toastmasters, motivators, you see, then one day a member came. He couldn't speak English, but he was so. It doesn't speak. They just come forward and speak. Sometimes gadu gadu, but I don't think so. And now he became an influencer. He told us about his first time. He uh, earned one million, uh, one million rupiah, one billion rupiah, and it was so beautiful speech. Everybody wants to join him. So that is one example. But here, okay, as I told you before, the problem is how to induce these people, these students, to come to those ones. That is the problem, actually. And uh, uh, Thomas, because Pat Thomas is, uh, uh, his name is Thomas, Thomas Gerton. Uh, I don't know how he came here, but he tries very best every time. 
that is the thing, uh, to which he can he can and he makes speeches. And he in, in operate his speeches. So, so from the beginning, he has a talent or he has a drive to succeed. That is uh, one of the examples. Yeah. Maybe you can give more. Like, except for Thomas. So, Pat Thomas, my friend, when joined the Kata Motivators, as Pat Wariman said, he come up here, he just talk English, Indonesian. So, what he has is the confidence and the drive to improve. And later on, after a few years, a few years in Postmasters, he set up an agency for Prudential. I was quite surprised. He ran a office space at Standard Chattered Building, 500 square meters. All he do is training the new cells in English, how to do public speaking, how to persuade, how to debate nicely. And the other person is Rudy Teos. Rudy Teos is um, later become Thomas partner. When he come to Toastmasters, the first time, he seldom talks, quiet, and his hand always sweat <laughs> when he come up here. But today, he is a very different person. He become the top agent of Prudential, and he target before the COVID every year by a new hoopo, and he achieved it. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> but endurance, persistence also makes perfect. Thank you, our three panelists, for the sharing session. We have learned a lot from your experience. And now I open the QA session. Because of the time constraint, we only open three people. Each of people only uh, eligible to raise one question. So, total three questions. Before you raise your question, you can state your name, city or workplace for the guest, and for those master's club, club name, and also whom the question you are going to address, and of course the question. So who will be the first question, questioner, online or offline? Can I? Oh, yes. Thank you for the opportunity. I'm Gatri yeah, Atalia. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <Yeah>. then. <laughs> yes, I'm here. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, then. I'm Gatri Atalanta from Malang Cosmos Aircraft in Java. And I have a. Malang, yes. I have a question, a little question, and I'm just curious. What the happy moment, the memorable things that you all remember during the meeting? And I want to know what the happiness thing that you really feeling. Oh my God, this is really good for us. Obviously, I can help you for that, and I want to play for like that. Thank you. Will you address the question to whom? Um, I think for Pak Wariman, it's going to be okay. Oh, Pak Budi, it's going to be. Thank you. Yeah. The happy moment is networking. We have many friends uh, from many professional companies like McKenzie, AC Nelson. At one time, the Qatar motivators meet at AC Nelson office from Bank of America. So the networking with all the MNC group, MNC multinational corporation, and also the institution. We can go to Lemanas, DPR, Pada, Federal Express, and meet new friends through education. That's the happy moments. We have a very wide, a very wide networking, and not only in Indonesia. When I was in Shanghai, we invited uh, Hong Kong motivate Hong Kong Toastmasters to come and share. So it's good if any of you go to other countries like Singapore or Malaysia, 
to join the club and see how they speak. They are very, very excellent. I'm sure there are some too here. But we can improve. That's a happy moment when we, when we can deliver our speech correctly and correctly. And the practice in Toastmasters and apply in our real business. Thank you. Happy moment in Toastmasters is when you see your members grow. So at that time, that we two thousand, not many speak English fluently. So the first time we saw them very fidgety, doesn't sure of themselves. But after two years, I do two years, a long time. Yeah, they they finished their ten uh, speech. Yeah, first test. Yeah, uh, the, the basic manual. So there. You see, you would be proud that with, with her or with him that he can finish that even though it is in, in one year, uh, one year, more than two years same time sometimes. Another organization, the Toastmaster has made every year, uh, let's say, the, the Toastmaster has grown from become a presidential club or a much club. And then, you feel proud also because you help the Toastmaster to develop that. And for that, you have to be taught networking, you have to be together, you have to make nice, uh, productive meeting. And that is when it's productive. So, with what makers at the time, we make a target every year presidential. So, so we, 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 we did that, and that is a happy moment for us. And the third, of course, we assist other, other, other Toastmasters. So, like I came to Malang maybe four or five times yeah, to establish clubs there. Thank you. Thank you. What's the question? Oh, from? Come forward. Oh, sure. 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 Same with you know, uh, it's very interesting and uh, grateful to be here to enjoy the panel discussion uh, with my speaker. The question is I think we all came from a various background. Uh, maybe there are some of us who are working in sales, tech, finance, even education and culture. So I want to address my question to our Niman and uh, um, I see that nowadays storytelling is a very powerful tool, even if you're working in, again, in sales, in education, in the government sales side, everywhere, because storytelling is the way you can run up your story, the way you can run up your research in your case, to tell people, to enlighten people on what to see, what to explore, and what should we analyze next to utilize it to our roadmap as country, as company unit. The question is, can you share, uh, can you share your principles on doing the best effort uh, on storytelling to reach the best uh, potential that you want to share, whether it's your own mission or your company mission, uh, maybe in Toastmaster or in your life outside Toastmaster regarding your lessons uh, taken from the Toastmaster. That's all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pat. Okay, this is quite interesting. Um, I think the key in Toastmasters is practice makes perfect. 
uh, and I always believe in that. Uh, I always believe in not only seeing the result, but also trusting the journey. Uh, and I think uh, my journey in Toastmasters, I joined Toastmasters since 2011. At, at that time, I was still a student at the University of Indonesia. Uh, so it helps me a lot. It helps me a lot with what I'm doing with my extracurricular activities. It helps me a lot in job interview. You know, storytelling is everything. Uh, storytelling is this, you know, you're, you're, you're supposed to be able to tell a story about yourself when you're being interviewed, right? What is your life? And it's not interview, you know, just one interview or a job interview. Sometimes scholarship interview, you should be able to present yourself well. And also in other parts of the journey, uh, including my academic journey and also in my professional journey. And I think Toastmaster is a key. Uh, in everything that I get now, uh, you know, and everything I am right now, because like I always use the opportunity in my club to rehearse my speech, to prepare for what I'm doing in my life and in my job. So uh, I always believe that preparation is the key, and I use the club meetings to rehearse my speech. Uh, before contest and also before interview and also sometimes projects in Toastmasters. For example, like I did a mock interview and I invited like one of my colleagues from the office to come to the Toastmasters club and be my interviewer so that I have the real experience of doing an interview and it is a project in Toastmasters club. And also I um, also have the opportunity to support um, my uh, fellow classmates who are in my uh, Polish class in presenting uh, the organization and also in presenting what we are doing and also presenting our activities when we did summer course in order to inspire people to also join uh, and also choose, you know, choose Poland as your next study for summer course. And we share our journey, we, we tell our stories, what we did. Uh, and that's one of the projects that I do as a high performance leadership. So I manage an event. Uh, I make sure everyone invited. The event is structured and I have the team that evaluates the whole event and also come to the event to see whether it is successful or not. Um, so I always try to make sure and make the most of the projects in Toastmasters because uh, I treat my Toastmasters journey and my club as a laboratorium where I can experiment and also do preparation. And then when I go out from my club in the real world, I feel more confident and more prepared. Storytelling is one of the important manual in Toastmasters Club. In storytelling, we practice how to present a story in comprehensively, so that in the short time, we can tell people, share with people, what is the importance, maybe four or five points, the importance of storytelling, and how to make people join us. So when I first started the Jakarta Motivators, we gather 20 people quite easily. And we had double charter at the time in year 2000, Jakarta Motivators and Lions Toastmasters Club. Why they want to come to join us? Because we give the story. What is Toastmasters? The storytelling. In in our in all of our aspect in life, we have to tell people so we can practice storytelling to apply in our real life. And that's what I do in business, organizations, and other things. And it helps a lot. Thank you. Short question. Oh. Yeah. Oh, sorry. What's your name again? Just Pro. Pro. I think you have to raise the storytelling higher, and it is communication. 
one of the program of <coughs> Toastmasters communication. Because in the modern world, it is communication. And one of them is storytelling. So when you have all your master communication, then you can easily bring your ideas to your friends or to your superiors or like Thomas to his audience. So important this year, I mean, I raise your ear to up from storytelling to uh, communication. And in those process, you learn how to improve your communication, how your ideas you have to be form it such that it can be easily understand, understood by your superiors. So superiors will think, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Do it. Storytelling is more entertaining for the community. But it's nice also. Because then you can, can uh, ask your friends to listen to you without boring. But again, important is communication skills. And that is what would make those master important or famous. How for young people, they can learn communication skills. So in the real life, in the real life, in the office now, in laboratories, where together, as, I mean, to, to work together is a really, really fast from everybody. Communication skills is very important. So please go up from storytelling to communication skills. In many, many fields of the modern world, it is very, very important for young people to learn. Thank you. Thank you very much. So that concludes our Q&A session because of the time constraint. Uh, let me summarize a bit. What makes us happy joining Toastmasters is when we can see others growing up and when we can elaborate or collaborate with uh, new friends, new people, new community, and the importance of storytelling. And it can be applied in interview, business, or Toastmasters itself. So let's level up from the storytelling to the communication. Thank you, our three hundred panelists. We have open conversation. Open conversation. So I will handle the open conversation. Okay, back with me again. Please give a round of applause with moderator and all of the panelists. So, who learned a lot today? 
Raise your hand for the people online. Would you mind to say, yes, me, I learned a lot today. Yes, yes, me. yes, yes, me, definitely. Definitely. yes, 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 me. <laughs> yes. Okay, I think we indeed learned a lot today. So, may I ask um, to fill in the empty chair in the front? Would you mind to do that? Yeah, so we can hear, we can hear better if you are closer to the stage. Please come closer to the stage. So we have two chairs in the front. Do you to move? Toastmaster Karan from the Toastmasters. Yeah, just sit there. Okay. Okay. I I see that uh, the empty chair has been filled. I would like to ask some of participants to come forward and let's have a chat a little bit. Okay, I think we have this thing is just here with the white color blue shirt. Would you mind to come up? Okay? Yeah. What's your name? Hi, everyone. Oh, hello. Okay, hi everyone. My name is Cecilia Ninja, and I am a guest. And before today, I didn't know anything about Toastmaster, but I learned a lot today. Okay, I love to hear that. So this is the first time you joined Toastmaster. I mean, attend the Toastmaster. Uh, yes, it is. Oh, okay. So where do you learn? Heard it from? Well, I, I just. Uh, Thank you, Babu. So I came. Uh, thank you, Babu. Coming with you today. So oh, I'm. I came with my parents, my mom, oh, and my dad. Hi, mom. Hi, dad. <laughs> 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 okay. So I see that you are listening very closely to the moderated session. May I ask if you can word one sentence and one word, if you may, about what you learn today okay one word that i learned from today's session has to be persistence because it's something that i myself is working on with and i think that's a really interesting word since i've heard like confidence yeah yeah self-confidence sure but one thing that is more important is persistence yes this is what i like today okay give a round of applause i see that you're already confident right <laughs> Okay, so you the thing that you need one more is persistence. So join this masters. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Give run. And I'd like to ask one more people online. Are you there? Hi. Oh. Wow. Got them waving hand. So I see that. I see Toastmaster Arif, you're here from University of Indonesia, Toastmaster School. Hello, Toastmaster Arif. Hello, everyone. Hello, Toastmaster Arif. So yeah. I see that you are also attending the, I mean, her closely with the moderated session just now. So the same question, what you learned today? Yeah, the more... Yeah, thank you everyone. Every morning, uh, I love the the not for today. The more we great, the more we have to learn. For example, for our education speaker, even they are se our senior, they still learning and em embrace themselves every in Toastmaster. That's uh my my. Super point for today. Thank you. That's much okay. idea. Okay, so it's almost similar thing, right? It's about persistence. Although we are growing, we are still learning. I see. Thank you very much, that's Master Arif. So to move to the practical session, we have prepared speakers for tonight. 
and and I'd like to call upon his evaluator. We have the first people speaker for tonight. That would be Toastmaster Vincent, and it, he will be evaluated by Toastmaster Leoni. So I will call upon Toastmaster Leoni to call Toastmaster Vincent. Happy morning. My name is Leoni, and today I have the honor to be the evaluator and to introduce Toastmaster Vincent's speech today. He's going to deliver a level one project one icebreaker speech project from his pathway strategic relationships. The purpose of this project is for the member to introduce themselves to the club and learn the basic structure of a public speech. The time would be four to six minutes. And without further ado, let's give a massive round of applause to Professor Vincent, the persistent Achiever, the persistent achiever, so Dr. Vincent, the stage is yours. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, nice to meet you. My name is Vincent, and you can just call me Vincent. So. I would like to describe myself as a persistent achiever. Why? Because I think based on my life experience, I need to do most effort compared to other people when, they, when I want to achieve my goal. In other words, when someone to achieve their goal, they need to take. 10 steps before me, I need to take around maybe 15 steps or more with other uh, for me. And I would like to tell you the story about my life, three story of my life, which describes uh, why I become a persistent teacher. First, it's about my education life. I took the uh, architecture major in Parahyangan Catholic University or uh, UNPAR, if you already know. So in order to enter and to graduate from UNPAR, it's what, it was really hard for me. So when I went to enter, I took the test three times. It was the test only to draw a building or something. I failed in the first test and the second test, and I got set it in the third test. And when I already uh, started studying architecture in Parayana, it was also hard for me to graduate. I finished the architecture school in five years, where others can finish in four years. What made me fail was uh, so in Parayana, there was uh, one impo uh, most important subject. The name is Architect Studio. And on the, sub on the subject, uh, I, give, I give an assignment to design a building ranging from a lowest building until a higher building. So let's say in Studio One, I only need to design a gazebo or a security guard until the uh, second studio. I need to design a higher building, uh, building which uh, the total floor can force or more. So I felt in the studio, the first studio, two times. You know, so in the first semester, I took the studio one and I felt. And the second semester, I took the studio one again and I felt again. And I felt in the third semester, I took the studio one again and I succeeded on the third semester. So three times. Uh, so what made me feel in the first semester and the second semester was because I was so perfectionist, uh, such as when I draw a line and a line a bit slanted. If it's only one millimeter, it really makes me stressful and it erase that line again and redo again. So that's what happens when on 
on my first semester and second semester. After the second semester, in the holiday, I learned by myself to draw as quickly as possible. I tried to reduce my perfectionist part. And I, on the third semester, I applied my learning. And after that, uh, is my work life. So after I graduate, I face a dilemma to, uh, to work. So uh, I need to work whether to in a active studio where I can give when I can get a chance, I get the chance to design a building or work in another company where I get serving. So uh, it was very really hard. Uh, so in in the in my first company, I took the architecture studio, and I get the chance to design the building. And uh, after three years, after uh, I work in uh, other company, I get a good salary, but I don't get a chance to design the building. But uh, I told my real goal is to uh, get a chance to design and get a good salary. So. I get a chance to work in my third company and get, I can get the good salary and a good chance to design on my third company. And the third is my love life. Uh, so I have to go to get a good, uh, good looking and smart girlfriend. So what I did since I graduated, I, uh, on that time there was a uh, popular wedding as the name was uh, Tinder. Mm -hmm. So I just use that uh, application to swipe swipe right, swipe left and I met uh, some random girl and yeah I just talked to, to the maybe around uh, 30 girls because I <laughs> I have a problem I cannot speak well with a woman. I don't know, maybe because some trauma or, or anything. So uh, I just keep trying to talk with random girl until I succeed. So uh, that was my life story. And uh, lately I, I've been learning uh, Spanish language. And I just want to convey you an, uh, an interesting Spanish old proverb. Uh, it was. Uh, this uh, you several times failed, but you need to eight times twice. It means you just need to keep learning, keep trying until you can achieve your goal. Thank you, Vicky. Uh, Thank you, Master Vincent. So that is the first level of those master pathway, which is icebreaker breaking the ice with our self introduction thank you to master vincent that, uh, he talked about his journey from the college and he ends it with some relatable story with us with gen z with, with swiping left and right tinder and oh uh, there's another information from um Toastmaster Vincent, he is actually has joined SCB Toastmaster a long time ago, and he rejoined to, I think, last month, right? Yeah, he rejoined last month to continue his journey with us, SCB Toastmaster. Thank you, Toastmaster Vincent. So next, we will have another session. It's an exciting session. It's, it would feel kind of like moderated session but in simpler way it's called table topic session and i will call upon those master atta from Malatos master club to lead the session over to you hey, thank you so much Susan adrian for let us start the excited session which is table topic session and before that, I want to hear your spirit. Happy morning. Happy morning. Happy morning. Happy morning. 
Happy morning. Happy morning. Happy morning. This is an exciting moment. You have to be participant in every single day. I give you opportunity. Okay. For the first, I want to explain the table topic session. As you see in the screen, table, table, table topic session is an impromptu speech. For all of you that want to try to speak a little for one to two minutes, you can try this one. So, since we have the word of the day, which is learn. The word of the day is learn when you want to speak. If in front of this place, this stage, you can put the learn into the speech of yours. So when you want to tell oh, about education, please also put this word to explain about uh, the word of the day. So let's start the table topic session. For the first, I want to give you the rules for today. For the first, table topic session has a kind of tips of you. First, it will be a question, a quote, or a statement. So you can read and understand it first, and then look at the timer. We have to roll the timer to remind you, try to speak up within the time limit, one to two minutes. And then the tips of me is you can take one minute to think what the idea you want to share to us. And the third is you can use the audio method, this method to make sure that you can speak with a little message. So what's the Oreo? Oreo, which is O itself is opinion, R is reason, and E example, and O again is opinion. So when you want to speak, you can use this method. So you can clearly what's the opening, body range, and the closing itself. Don't forget to use the word of the day, which is learn. So let us start with the first speaker that you want to follow into yourself. Don't hide your head, don't you? Hang the voice, the eyes of me. So let us hear who wanna be the first. Okay, no, raise hand. Please you, raise your hand if you wanna try. I wanna hear from the member of the semester. Um, I wanna call the semester Nanda. Please come to me and <laughs> let's start this session. It's exciting. Actually, this is the example of of table topic session. But before that, I wanna hear from Kasma Sarnanda. Okay, please make the slide. This is the quote, Kasma Sarnanda. When you learn, teach. When you get, give. This is the quote from Maya Angelou. Tosma Sernanda, when you learn, teach, when you get, give. Please give a round of applause to Tosma Sernanda. When you learn, teach, when you get, give. So it can be anything, but for me, I think who like gossip? Everybody <laughs> like gossip, but in the essence of gossip, we just really like to know something. So it can be true, it can be false, but I think the information, it could be very beneficial if we pass it to others. Uh, even though it's only a simple thing like, um, what's the unique things that I know? Oh, do you know uh, that from Jakarta, or MRT changed the name of the station? Maybe some people think, ah, it's not really important why I need to know. But I think a simple information can be uh, precious for others. Example, if I never use MRT and people told me about that, oh, um, what's the MasterCard thing? Masterkart. Oh, my MasterCard. And before that, that always mine, right? Yes. And if I didn't know that information, I would, I would be confused, like, oh, where is the my station? People told me that I need to visit my station, but now they changed the name to Snoy and MasterCard. So I think. Don't think about like, oh, this is information, it's not important, it's not important, but the fact is, is it true or not? Don't spread the hoax, but as long as it's true, I think it would be good to pass it the information to others. Thank you. Back to what it is. Thank you so much. That's 
pengawasan Anda. Yes, every single information is always beneficial for us. I agree for that because we can lose the place that we didn't know about the update information. Thank you. So for the next speaker, I want to hear from the guest. From the guest. Who is the guest here? Don't avoid my eyes, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to call... Yes, Dina, please come to me. Please give big applause to guest Dina for today. All right, how are you? Nervous? Oh, yeah, me too. Okay, please stand here. Okay, the second is tell us about story. Toastmasters is a part of education. What do you think if you heard this statement? So you can tell us the story once you join the meeting, every single meeting you join, you can tell us. Toastmaster is a part of education. Give the opening up here. Thank you. Toastmaster is a part of education. Um, I think that, oh, sorry. I think that having such a curriculum or such a platform allows everyone to step forward and start building their confidence and start talking to people beyond their own circle. And honestly, I'm not one to come out of my comfort zone because uh, I think most of us are actually slightly introverted. But when you get a community to that embraces that fact, then you start learning more about yourself and you get to learn a lot more about other people too. So one thing that I would really, I really appreciate about Toastmaster, it really builds our character on how we can become better speakers, on how we can create better impact to our communities, and also on how we are able to spread our message for instance, uh, the reason why I want to join those masters is so that I can understand what it is to um, how what how I can you know contribute more towards education. So that's one of the key reasons I want to join. So that you know um, there are a lot of um, there are a lot of improvements that we can make in our life, and we need to inspire future generations to always come forward. That's about it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys. Dina, yes, I agree with that. With Toastmaster, we can get lesson, and it's really helpful for us. Either you want to apply it in the professional thing or business things. I agree with that because we always grow. Also, we have to improve. By that, we still have time. Okay? How many speakers that we can pick? Two again? Is it okay? Okay, for online participants, please join us. Toastmaster Donna, could you do you mind to join this presentation? Toastmaster Donna. Hello. Oh, you. Hello, Toastmaster Donna. Hello. I'm good, how are you? Great seeing you again. Do you excited to join this session? Of course, of course. Yes. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, this master Donna. What's the challenge for you? The challenge will give you the hard, the hard part, but see what's the third. Oh. It's really touchable, I think. Toastmaster Donna, tell us the happy moment related to the education. Maybe you can give us the story when you are being a Toastmaster member here. Toastmaster Donna, tell us the happy moment related to the education. Thank you very much. I stepped up as VPE July last year and the very first two mentees I had are Toastmasters. I'm going to mention their names if that's okay. 
Dr. Dede and Dr. Leone, who one of them is here today as an evaluator. When I first met the both of them, I said, I don't think I know how to be a mentor. What am I doing here? And so I started answering Dr. Leone's questions, um, pretending that I know everything. And also when I met Dr. Dede, she barely spoke English and they both did all the work. They always came to meetings. They came to other meetings. And as you've seen so far, they've gone really, really far into their journeys and I'm really proud of them. And when it comes outside of Toastmasters, I myself am an educator by, um, by profession. I teach English online. And one of my um, two T's in Malang started out um, always making mistakes and things. And one day I gave them a really difficult article after a year and they said, um, God, this is too easy. And I'm like, excuse you, <laughs> is this too easy? So I, I think to, um, sometimes we get used to seeing people and we meet them every day and we don't realize how far they've come but if you zoom out and step back you realize that wow we've come so far into our journeys so i think zooming out and being able to see how far people have come in their journeys is the best thing that we can have with an education thank you Tessa Serata. back to you oh, Dora. yes i agree we always make a journey even though you are just a one member in one club, you can across, you can visit another club. So by that, you can meet another people with another variant and with another character. So with that, you also can get the network from Toastmaster Club. Yes, I agree with you. Thank you, Toastmaster Nana. From this session, I would like to say to thank you for all of you that come into this a meeting especially to join us in this table topic session it's really hard for me that i will i can become table topic master for today and it's really a pleasure that we can see you in another meeting thank you back to our table topic master the sponsor thank you okay give a round of applause for first master Atta from Okay, after this, we will have the report from Timer for both a uh, prepared speaker and all of the table topic speakers that we have heard just now. Over to you, this master. Thank you, Dr. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster of Nine. Here I will read the time report for every speaker. The first one uh, for the icebreaker, uh, Dr. Serpentan, six minutes and 45 seconds. And then for a table, table topic session, Toastmaster Nada, one minute and 32 seconds. Toastmaster Dina, one minute and 45 seconds. Toastmaster Donna, one minute and 58 seconds. Back to you, Toastmaster of Meeting. I see all of the speakers today is eligible, so I'd like I'd like to call upon our bell counter, Toastmaster Agung. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Adrian. So I'll share the link for table topic speakers for voting, uh, because Toastmaster Finzan is only speaker for prepared speech. Wait a second, I need. Oh yeah, here's here the one. This. Okay, I'll I already shared the link into the chat box, and I'll now share my screen for the barcode. Can you see? Can you see? It? All right. Please, I'll give you one minute to vote. Don't forget to vote and practice your right because everyone is eligible to vote. 
So let's vote, 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 vote. Don't let the speaker down, yeah? So you have to vote. Because Mr. Adrian, if you think that everybody already scanned their barcode, please let me know, okay? Uh, not yet, Abu. Maybe you want to fill the time? Sure, sure, sure. So I think everyone is voting right now and I would like to see the result. Oh, I will not see the result. I will not share the result right now, but I do have the, they are already coming in. Mr. Alvin, has everyone scanned? Have you already scanned the picture? Okay, then. Okay, thank you so much. And that's all from me. I will give the control back to our Toastmaster of the meeting. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, everyone, for still uh, here. So we already here. The first one is paper speech. And then we also hear table topic. And now it's time for evaluation which where we can hear what we can we learn from the speakers so the first speakers is Toastmaster Vincent was delivering his icebreaker and he will be evaluated by his evaluator Toastmaster Leoni Toastmaster Leoni are you ready all right over to you First of all, congratulations to Mr. Vincent for doing his well-structured speech just like a well-structured architectural building design. The foundation is quite solid. He started right away with the heart of the speech of why they call the persistent achiever. And then he follows through with his personal story to uh, explain why is he a persistent achiever in his education, work, and even his love life. life. And it seems that the third number is her is his lucky number. So it was such a great speech because he implemented the three rules of speech. And what this kind of rules of speech uh, do to the audience is that it gave the speech a well structured and it also gave the audience a easy to follow structure. So that was such a great job and solid performance from Toshio Fitzent. He also gave a related message at the end of his speech so we can all know what we can bring home to from his speech. So it's not just his personal story of uh, successfully getting into university at the third attempt and getting his building aside at the third company, but we could also learn about keep learning and keep persisting on what our goal is in general. Uh, I do have room for improvement. I do notice that Toastmaster Vincent opened with a question. So why is it that the speech was pers persistent achiever? I would like that the end of the speech could also in the form of a question so that it can give a form of a loop so that it can make the audience feel like it has this balance together. So it goes by sort of Vincent could also give a question about, so how about you? Are you a persistent achiever as well? That would give a little bit of a different uh, 
variety on his speech and a loop. But overall, Toastmaster Vincent has created a well-structured, which is he successfully introduced himself in a well-structured speech. And he also gave us this message of believing that we can all achieve our goals if we keep learning and we keep on persisting. So thank you so much, Toastmaster Vincent, for your inspirational story. And, and I would like to give another round of applause and welcome back to the Toastmaster family, Toastmaster Vincent. Back to you, Toastmaster of the meeting. Okay, welcome again. Thank you, Toastmaster Leonie, for the wonderful evaluations. And I would like to call upon our timer for the evaluation. Over to you, Toastmaster Farah. Okay, uh, so since we only have half an hour, I'm going to today for Toastmaster Leonie. Uh, the time uh, report is 2 minutes and 45 seconds. Back to you, Toastmaster Farah. Okay, thank you for your timer report. So for those master, um, for those who attend our online settings, would you mind to let the online photos to see our below smile there? Those master Dona, would you mind to take it? Okay, so hello everyone. I'd like for you to turn on your cameras so that we can take this and put this on our social media. So if you're available, please turn on your cameras because I will take your picture. Okay, I'd like to call to Mr. Arif and Perpustakan ITBAD, excuse me, if you'd like to turn on your camera and guest or choose Mr. Inawati and Gasilia if you're available. Okay, I will take a picture in three, two, one. Okay, one more pose. In three, two, one. Thank you. Back to you, too, Sister Adrian. Thank you, Tess Matabrena, for leading the online photos. Don't worry, uh, for those who attending here on site, we will have the photos after the session. Okay, so let's move on to the most awaiting moment in every Toastmaster session that we will have Hall of Fame. And I would like to call upon Toastmaster Agung to lead the session. Over to you, Toastmaster Agung. Thank you, Toastmaster Adrian. Allow me to share my screen. I think it's visible right now. Thank you. So it's Hall of Fame time. Oh, okay. Okay. Where we can see who is the res the result of your most favorite speakers. So first we have the most favorite prepared speech speaker, but because it's a winning for Toastmaster Vincent already, because yeah, he is the single speaker for today. So we have to Toastmaster Vincent. Would you like to come? Okay. Two, three, two, one. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> and then now, the second one, the single performer as well for the evaluation to master leonie congratulations thank you okay i'll take your picture in three two one there we go thank you all right now 
the most favorite table topic speaker. So now it the the intense is going on right now. So out of three speakers, who do you think is the most favorite one? Can you guess the name? Drum roll, please. Drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to Toastmaster Joanna for winning the Table Topic Award for today. So you can okay, you. shot yourself. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. okay, smile, Donna, in three, two, one. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Uh, thank, congratulations again to Master Donna for winning the best table topic speaker. Then now, yeah, it's the, the end. You can see the beautiful picture over there, Toastmaster Adrian or the Toastmaster of the meeting. Shout out to Toastmaster Adrian. Please raise your hand. Oh. Toastmaster Adrian is the VPE, VP of membership. So if you guys have questions for SCBD Toastmasters Club, or Toastmaster in general, you can contact him. You can scan the barcode over there that I already shared in the screen. And also contact him on WhatsApp. He will be delighted to answer the questions from you. Also, you can also ask or DM us uh, the SMT Toastmaster members outside in case Toastmaterian is also busy. So we are welcome to answer your questions. All in all, uh, I I found that this meeting has been a great one, and I learned a lot. So I'll give back the control to Toastmaster Adrian. See you around, guys. Okay. Yay! Thank you, Toastmaster Agung, for the Hall of Fame session. So now we have reached. <laughs> The end of our, our session. I would like to extend my gratitude to Professor Dr. Wadiman and Distinguished Toastmaster Budi and also Distinguished Toastmaster Atma for being here, being our finalists. And thank you for our moderator, Toastmaster Melissa, far away from the Toastmasters. Okay. I think, I hope that um, all of us learned something today. And I really appreciate your time by coming here. And for those who are online, who spare your time in your beautiful Saturday morning <laughs> to, to see the, our session as session with the educational panelists. So I think that's all from me. Thank you. I'll give my control to Toastmaster Luna. All right. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much, dear sister Adrian, and thank you very much, everyone, for having come today. Let me. Okay, there we are. So thank you very much for coming today, and I. I like to give some announce. I'd like to allow dear sister Alvin to, give some announcement before we officially close the meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Donna. Uh, I would like to invite you to our district conference, uh, our district 87 uh, conference. This is a yearly event. Uh, last year, it, is con it was conducted in Bali, and this year, it is conducted in Malaysia, Kota Kinabalu. And I will give you two reasons why you should attend. First, you know, we are being uncomfortable, is our growing area right so by going to malaysia in district conference of course it's uncomfortable meeting new people is uncomfortable like and making friends with new people that you never see is uncomfortable but believe me if you go to malaysia in district conference you will meet new people make it make it working from that you learn how to make friends with barely you did you didn't know before so with that, you can apply it in here when you back to Indonesia how to make friends, how to uh, how to send your proposal and everything. And the second one there will be the contest, international uh, speech, table topic and evaluation contest. 
and also Indonesia contest. We also have pidato di persiapkan contest, and the third is uh, bahasa Mandarin contest, international uh, speech topic and evaluation. So by attending the contest, you can see the determination of the contestant, the atmosphere of competition, and uh, hopefully, and I I believe all the speakers will be inspiring because. Um, um, representing in district, it's not an easy job because you compete from the club to area, division, at least three steps of competing that the contestant is uh, traveling. So, see you hopefully in the KK and we're back to Madam Bibi. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I can close. I can close. Yeah, back to you, Dana. Okay, so thank you very much, to Mr. Alvin, our Division I Director, for reminding us that we're going to have our district conference in just two weeks. So please come if you have some time, spend your weekend in the beautiful, beautiful state of Sarawak, Malaysia, where you're going to meet lots of all-time Toastmasters and make new friends. So once again, thank you very much for coming, everyone. But with the power vested in me, I'd like to officially adjourn this meeting. And to all guests, if you'd like to come and please send um, a few comments if you'd like. Okay, can someone offline help out and I think you'll be able to better see. Thank you. Okay, in on site session on behalf of yours okay so is there anyone who want to share the feedback of our meeting how how do we feel just raise your hand if you have something i'd like to call upon okay don't open my eyes <laughs> Same with i see some oh, is that Oh no, uh, be, beside you with the black black shirt. Hello, yeah. would you mind to come from? Okay. Hello, what's your name? Oh, no worries. Thank you for informing. What's your name again? Mega from Motivators. Oh, the Toastmaster Mega, not Mega playing poly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, how do you know about the our session? Are you invited or? Actually, uh, Toastmaster Manda, our president, shared the invitation to the group. So, thank you for Toastmaster Manda, and I can. I have no uh, plan for today, so it's been a long time for me not to open first masters. So I uh, made this uh, hours to come to this meeting. I really appreciate it for your time. I hope you're coming to our club more often. Okay, thank you, Megan. I don't want to extend the question. Okay, I think I see some new face here. Hello, you're already smiling. <laughs> Would you mind to come up? Hello, are you new? Uh, attending some Toastmasters meeting? Uh, actually, I ever visit some Toastmasters before. I ever visit a um, Max Toastmaster. Max Toastmaster. Oh, yeah, Pacific Pacific place. Place. Oh. So this is my, I think my third or my fourth offline even in Postmaster. Okay, what's your name again, sorry? Uh, my name is Katika. Actually, I have uh, sent a message to you to ask ah. about the Postmaster. Oh, okay, pardon me. I think, but this is, I think, the first time we met yeah, on-site, uh, right? My first time to join the S. Okay, and meet me on Saturday. Right? So I might not remember because a lot of messages come to my WhatsApp. So, okay. is there anything you would like to?
and to audience about what what you're learning today, or maybe do you have something, your know, feedback maybe for this session? Uh, actually, I do love learn new things, and because the today's topic is uh sharing about education field, uh, I feel so excited. Um, yeah, and I so I met my old grandpa in here. I didn't expect that I will met her. <laughs> yeah, yeah then, uh, for the SGB talks master so good because I also heard uh, another testimonial from my friends that the SGB talks master members is a warm. Well, I must say, uh, easy to approach people and nice to new people. So I think it's a good point. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Give a round of applause for Tuntu Bitos Master Patika. Yeah, we are nice to a lot of people. That's for sure. <laughs> because I think that's because that we want everyone to know about Toastmasters, how Toastmasters help us in our daily life, about how do we speak with people, how we lead by yeah, taking some roles, how to lead in a team, and yeah, it would be beneficial in our daily life. So we want everyone to know about Toastmasters and how it helps us and we will gladly help you by being a mentor or just by being here, coming to SCBD Toastmasters regular meeting. So, all you know, I'd like to um, give the closing statement from our Vice President of Education, Professor Dana, would you mind it? Okay, thank you once again to Sister Adrian. And thank you for asking everyone their greetings. Thank you very much for coming today. It has been a wonderful, wonderful session. Once again, thank you to all panelists, DTM Riman, DTM Woody, and DTM Atma. And thank you to our moderator, Sister Melissa, for joining us today. And so thank you, everyone. Enjoy your weekend. Happy weekend. With the power vested in me, I officially adjourned this meeting. Thank you. Happy morning. Happy morning!